Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Small businesses, as we'll talk about throughout this survey, are such an important part and crucial component of our Long Island business community. Service as a building block for jobs, the communities themselves, for retail growth, consumer growth, all of the foundational aspects of our business world on Long Island. This is the third year that we have done a survey with Stony Brook University on small businesses. And it's really kind of a unique survey. It's not only about how people are hiring or what they're investing in or how they see the economic conditions, but it's also about how they feel about their small businesses, would they recommend it to their children, and also about the gender differences, how women feel about their small businesses that they own and how men feel about them. So the survey that Stony Brook does in partnership with us really builds the full, full picture, the entire picture of what small business owners and executives are thinking about. So over the last two years, there's been just trepidation. There's been thoughts about, is the economy really growing? Are we having success? This year and into 2014, you see real optimism. Thoughts about hiring, thoughts about sales increases, even thoughts about going to bigger facilities, which means more jobs. Can they stay on Long Island for after retirement? You know, this gets back to the demographic challenges we're facing, which is the young and the old uh, are leaving Long Island. It's been gradual improvement over uh, quite a long period of time now, but the word is gradual. So uh, it hasn't been not, you know, that we're at the point uh, where we were prior to the recession. There's still slack in the economy and, and room for continued improvement. Uh, and I think it will continue. The caveat I do want to mention about this economic recovery is that on Long Island and throughout the United States, it's been an uneven recovery for the consumer. So better educated and wealthier consumers have tended to fare better than uh, consumers with less education and, and lower income. And so we need to be sensitive about that when we talk about economic recovery, realizing that uh, a number of people have been left out. After people got laid off, during the recession, some people turned to working as a contractor from their own home, as a consultant. And so I think that that trend will continue, that we are going to see more people running these businesses. One of the advantages for Long Island is that small business owners have a tendency to bring their own children into the business. We have a lot of concern on Long Island about kids leaving, especially going to college elsewhere and then staying away because they find Long Island unaffordable, a family business is one way to keep families intact. In doing credit card processing, we work with a number of small businesses, small to medium-sized businesses, so when they're doing well, we're doing well. We have been seeing them recently, you know, a downturn in business. Um, but the ones that are doing well are doing well. The ones that aren't, haven't been doing so well are just sort of falling off the radar. We've got two words for you, Waldo. Polar vortex. Um, um, if you talk to a lot of retailers out there, um, they got knocked out by snow. It's not like school where you can make up the days. That, those days are lost for a retailer, and very rarely can they recoup all that money back into their business. Um, so they, they have to do things that are, that are a little bit different. We do consider the health and human service sector nonprofits to be businesses. And here on Long Island, nonprofits make up over 17% of the local economy. We are employing individuals, we're purchasing health insurance, we're undertaking contracts with other businesses, other vendors, whether it's renting space, buying space, using a copy machine, you know, back office supplies. We purchase it at the same rate as any other small business. And again, representing almost 20% of that overall economic activity. We're a huge piece of the small business community here on Long Island. Actually, the thing that surprised me was the change in the way women viewed uh, the biggest challenges they have ahead. And it's moved from the hours to financial stress. And I hope that the interpretation of that is that women's businesses are planning to expand, and therefore, there is more need for financing. Everyone's working twice as long, twice as hard for half the pay. But you know what, Long Islanders, it's a tough crew. Everybody is working hard, they're moving forward, and of course you know my motto, smile and move forward.